Bring you more now on this horrific para parasailing accident in Florida. You've seen the video at the top of the show. Two mm -hmm. Indiana teens critically injured when the cord that was securing them to their boat snapped, slamming into a building and many cars. ABC News has now learned that there are serious questions about the safeguards in place to prevent such accidents. And ABC's Rob Nelson has the latest on this story. Good morning to you, Rob. Uh, good morning, Josh. Of course, it's a holiday week and parasailing is a common vacation activity, but a blast of bad weather and a possible equipment problem caused a fun day in the sun to turn into a nightmare. It's the terrifying moment caught on camera. Watch as a parasail containing two riders breaks loose from the boat leading it and slams into two nearby condominiums in Panama Beach, Florida. All before crashing into a parking lot full of cars. We are at the Commodore and two parasailers just smashed into the top of it. This morning, two 17-year-old Indiana girls, Alexis Fairchild and Sydney Good, remain in critical condition at an area hospital. Initial reports from investigators say that on Monday, an afternoon storm developed with strong winds and that these winds kept the chute aloft and several attempts to winch the riders back onto the vessel failed. The company who ran the outing, Aquatic Adventures, is declining to comment. The very popular vacation sport is an industry with very little regulation. Just this May, Florida legislators failed to pass a bill that would have put new safety standards in place. One of the biggest opponents, Aquatic Adventures, the owner of the boat involved in this incident. A managing partner spoke out to a local newspaper about his opposition to the bill. We've started creating our own standards. We've got a good plan going. But incidents linked to parasailing continue to mount. Since 1998, there have been 33 incidents in Florida alone, with six fatalities. If we can produce national safety standards for, uh, for this industry so that uh, they can uh, uh, apply these in the field, and of course, the, we would hope that the net result of all this work would be uh, uh, fewer accidents. Now, the last time a parasailer died in Florida was last August. That's when a harness broke in Pompano Beach, killing a 28-year-old Connecticut woman. Lots of questions, guys, this morning about the safety of the parasailing industry. Those two ladies, though, very lucky to be alive. Let's wow. hope they answer those questions. Thanks yes. a lot, Rob. Thanks, Rob.